Today, we're going to take a look at the top 7 free GIS software. I'll explain when to use one over the other and some of their key advantages. So, whether you're a cartographer, a geographer, or just a plain old-fashioned location enthusiast, grab your compass and get ready to explore the world of free GIS software with me. Just make sure you don't get lost in the virtual wilderness. At number 7, we have Geoda. If you're looking to master statistics in GIS, Geoda is probably the best option for you. Some of the geostatistics tools it has include spatial autocorrelation, exploratory data analysis, and spatial regression. One of my favorite features of Geoda is its extremely clean user interface. It just looks more modern than other GIS software, even ones that you pay for. Another thing I like about Geoda is its state-of-the-art graphing and charting. For instance, you can build bubble charts, 3D plots, histograms, box plots, and many other types of charts. So if you're looking to get a better handle on geostatistics, Geoda is actually a really handy learning tool. But keep in mind, although Geoda shines in geostatistics, it doesn't have the basic geospatial tools like clipping, merging, and buffering. You'll have to look somewhere else for that basic functionality. At number 6, we have Ilwiz. For anyone working in remote sensing, Ilwiz is particularly strong in its ability to handle complex raster data. For example, it includes tools for image processing, classification, and spatial modeling. But it also has some useful tools for terrain analysis and hydrological modeling. On the other hand, Ilwiz may not be the best choice for those who need to run advanced geoprocessing. Some you just can't find here. With that said, it's still adding new features like 3D mapping, Python integration, and stereo mapping. So while Ilwiz has some robust features, its popularity and user base are relatively limited, especially when you compare it to some of the other GIS software on this list. I really like this open source GIS software. I think it's very innovative with a set of unique geoprocessing tools. For example, it has a data collection tool so users can go out to the field with data capture capabilities. Another strength of GVSIG is its familiar look and feel. Although the user interface can feel a bit dated at times, it has that familiarity so users can tailor the software to their specific needs. However, one of the biggest setbacks is its lack of English documentation. Because this GIS software was built in Spain, you might only be able to find Spanish explanations for how some tools work. Overall, when it comes to free GIS software, GVSIG is still a solid choice. At number 4, we have Saga GIS. For anyone working in geosciences, Saga GIS or System for Automated Geoscientific Analyses is a must-have package for you. I love this software because of its selection of tools. For example, there are toolboxes for geostatistics, image analysis, and even simulation. But the saying goes with great power comes responsibility. Responsibility means documenting your tools. And unfortunately, I don't see much reference information for anything here. So it can be a little hard to work with. For some tools, it's hard to find the inputs or even what the tool accomplished if you can even run it. Although this software lacks true editing capabilities, the mapping is surprisingly a breath of fresh air. For example, it has 3D and anaglyph mapping. It can also handle LiDAR files with the ability to import and view elevation and light intensity. Despite the fact that Saga GIS needs a bit of a facelift, I've always had a soft spot for it. I don't know if it's that loud beeping noise it makes after it successfully runs a tool, or if it's just all the weird quirky things you can do with it. Either way, it's a winner in my heart. At number 3, we have Whitebox Geospatial Analysis Tools. Sadly, this open source GIS software doesn't nearly receive the attention it deserves. Whitebox is an absolute specialist in hydrological and terrain analysis. And if you're working with LiDAR, check out some of these tools. I personally like how you can convert LAS files to shapefile. It's just convenient sometimes with a shapefile. Finally, the last thing I have to say is that Whitebox is highly expandable. You can take these tools and bring them in ArcGIS or QGIS if you really want to. So the convenience and analysis capabilities are some of the reasons why we have it so high on our list of open source GIS software. At number two, we have Grass GIS. What you need to know about Grass GIS is that it's a geospatial powerhouse. 
This software was originally developed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1984. You can actually find a video of William Shatner from Star Trek talking about how good it was at the same time. But Grass GIS is number two on our list because of its reliability, documentation, modules, and longevity. I think the main reason you'd want to use this software is for its network capabilities, image processing, and LiDAR tools. It even has some neat mapping functionality for 3D rendering. But some of its drawbacks include a clunky user interface and defining projections each time you start a project. It also has a bit of a steep learning curve for getting projects started. But what can I say except that Grass GIS is tried, tested, and true. It has been and always will be one of the top open source software in the industry today. In position number one, we have QGIS. And I say QGIS with an exclamation point because it's not much of a contest. QGIS is a true competitor to commercial GIS software like ArcGIS Pro. It's the total package with everything you need like editing tools, mapping functionality, advanced analysis, and data management. But the best part is that it's actually free and open source. What I like most about QGIS is that it has a clear focus on mapping. No other open source GIS software can give you a range of cartography options than QGIS. For instance, it includes 3D visualization, atlas and map book creation, and thematic mapping. Another thing I like about QGIS is how it comes equipped with all the standard and advanced tools you need to get the job done. Can't find what you need? You can even leverage other open source tools like Grass GIS, Whitebox GAT, and Saga GIS as their own toolbox. Another advantage is the editing in QGIS. You get everything you need to edit geospatial data, and I'd even say that it's comparable or even better in some respects to ArcMap. Lastly, what I want to say is that QGIS is a massive collaboration between developers and mapping specialists from around the world. So that means contributors are adding their own plugins every day. That means you can extend your capabilities for everything from data access to time animation and Google Street View integration. Overall, QGIS is like the Harlem Globetrotters of GIS. They go untouched in the world of open source GIS software. In this video, we have introduced you to the seven top free GIS software options that you can use to create, edit, and analyze geospatial data without spending any money. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of the different free GIS software available and has helped you choose the best option for your needs.